We're now in the um, second quarter of the class, so we've completed 25% of this class and of course the rest of your classes this semester. So the first one-fourth of our class was focused on uh, learning about yourselves, or, or learning about ourselves. So a lot of the guest speakers, a lot of the content the was focus about... This is going to shift from learning about ourselves to learning about how to do things to work in communities. So the trainings and, and both um, trying to get us all out to, to close to home and do and start getting involved with it there is shifting from us you know, to uh, Dr. Kathy Morrison, who is uh, awesome and, and does health related and, and domestic violence stuff, so it's a perfect combination for our course, public health and domestic violence. And Koopa, who is also an alum of Curry College, also a... Um, who does this work on the ground. So he is also a person that uh, is so do doing a pretty cool presentation, hopefully, uh, and educate you guys on some things, and you guys all want to work with the community. So we're trying to give you some tools and some tips and tricks to help you do that, um, while being, of course, funny, comic, and perceived. What does that mean? If you can come up with a, a sentence or two, that'd be great. If you have a notebook handy or your own, I can reach up and grab it for you. Uh, we can write down what diversity is. For you guys, five minutes starting. Are you a four? Yes, I am. A four. Now. No, All right, cool. Yeah. Misfits. Right. Good, so good, good, good. Yeah. Huh? Where are, you, where are you from? I'm from Wales. Russia. Italy. Germany. Ireland. We, we are diversity. diversity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Diversity is um, different people from different cultures, class, environment, ethnicity, different ideas, perspective, religion, race, and values. Wow. Yeah, different <laughs> cultures and backgrounds coming together to share experiences and values together. In case you can't see it, right? <laughs> what it says is uh, otherness or those human qualities that are different from our own and outside the groups to which we belong, yet are present in other individuals and groups. Do we hear that? Mm -hmm. Now, we get into a whole debate about definitions all day long with all these different dictionaries and, and, and places of school of teachings. Uh, I did hear, I think, in two or three definitions, I think, something about tolerance. And I think I'd like you to touch upon the fact that diversity doesn't necessarily mean someone's tolerant. We're just speaking to the actual thought of difference. Mm -hmm. um, what's different? Different cultures, different communities, yep. different people, places, persons, things. So when you throw tolerance, you're adding another element to it. It's another layer. Um, they were all right. But diversity in itself is just differences. I would, I would, I, that's how I would kind of define it as otherness. Different people in the same place. Tolerance is something that you need to work towards when you have different people in different places. Next, more group work, right? This is only three minutes because you guys are pretty good last one. Mm -hmm. So the next one is, in what ways can people be diverse? Now that we've defined it, how can we be diverse? In your culture, okay. Economically. Economically, nicely oh. done, yes. Anything else? Linguistically. <laughs> Linguistically, okay. Uh, nice. Visually. Visually. And in our activities. We said going to events outside your culture, foods, um, like mm -hmm. the different types of clothes people wear. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, different churches slash religions and getting out there. Talking okay. about the different ways in people are being diverse. Well, we usually think about a race, culture, ethnicity, things like that. But there's a whole slew of ways that we're actually diverse. We've got diversity in this room that has nothing to do with race and culture. We've got age diversity, religious diversity. And we also have income level. You said economic status. Very nicely done. Uh, So if somebody came from down south and started trying to work up here and live up here, you would have to know how to work with that individual. You'd have to know about the social differences between living up north and living down here. We also have different skill levels. Some people are not going to know as much as you. Some people are going to know more than you when it comes to certain things, and you've got to get used to that.